What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls reaction. Today we're going to be reacting to episode 9, 10, and 11. We, I think we're like halfway through the series at this point, or halfway through the first season. So probably like a quarter of the way through the whole thing, which is crazy. There, there seems to be a lot of content, even though it, it sounds like it's only a small two seasons. But there are actually quite a lot of, ep of episodes in each season. Um, so we're going to get through this. And today I'm planning to record six episodes in one recording session. Of course, it's, it's going to be split out with two videos, but I'm hoping I can get through a big portion today while it's the weekend. So let's do that. Uh, if you enjoy, make sure you subscribe. And of course, as always, if you want the uncut reactions, then you can head down to my membership page and there will be a link to a Google Drive folder where all of my uncut reactions are, if you want that. So let's get started. Woo! Oh, one more thing. Um, basically, a lot of the time I'm asking people not to spoil the show for me. And I think a lot of people have been very respectful about that. There are some of you who are still sending spoilers, which is okay because I have moderators deleting comments. Um, but I think some people don't understand the definition of a spoiler. I mean, there are different, like, there are different levels of spoiling things. I'd say the highest level is being like, oh, Mabel dies in the last episode. Uh, but there are lower levels which are still spoiling. And as you may know, I am trying to dissect this show inside and out. I'm trying to find all the clues myself. I'm trying to make deciphering programs so that I can decipher all of the codes at the end of the episodes. Like, I'm going all the way with this and I don't want things to be spoiled for me. So when you guys say stuff like, look in the first episode again, or go and look here and there's a secret code at timestamp, blah, 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 blah. Like, don't tell me. Like, even stuff like, this is one at Bash Cypher is. I don't want to know. I want to research for myself and I want to find it myself. So, I have one job for all of you watching right now, and that is to go in the comments below and write a fake comment, uh, write a fake, for, uh, fake spoiler. Because that way, I won't know what comments are real and which ones are fake. So, I'll assume that all of them are fake. Uh, and it's actually messing with my head right now because you could also just write the real spoilers and I wouldn't know because I've told you to say fake spoilers. So go in the comments below right now and write whatever you like. Uh, but either way, we want loads of comments to kind of flush out the big spoilery comments and places to look. Anyway, thank you for doing that. And I am going to continue with episode number nine. This one is called The Time Traveler's Pig. The cheapest fare money can rent. I spared every expense. <laughs> I printed up a bunch of fake safety inspection certificates. Go slap one on anything that looks like a lawsuit. <laughs> Almost ready to go, Mr. Pines. Dunkle the Grunkle, oh my gosh. Ha! You got it rigged from here to Timbuktu. There's nothing on Earth that could knock me down. Yeah, except for like a futuristic laser arm cannon. Ah. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen later in the episode. The mission is proceeding as planned. Over. What? He's got a, he's got camo. Well, I say camo clothing, but that obviously means like green like specks and stuff. But he's actually got camo clothing, like invisible clothing. That's what I should probably call it. Wait, the episode is called "The Time Traveler's Pig." We've seen uh, Mabel with a pig in the intro of every. Um, of every episode. So I wonder if that's going to be related. Also, I feel like those photos have changed. Maybe not. I didn't see Gideon there before. Either you dorks seen Wendy around? Who wants to know? Hey! Yeah, I got some new super tight jeans. Thought she might want to check them out. <laughs> oh my god! Whatever happens, I'll be right here supporting you every step of the- Oh my gosh, a pig! Win a pig? <laughs> Mabel! Oh. <gasps> he said Mabel. Sir, I must have that pig. Ah, oh, 15 poundy. So, how much you guess anyways? Um, 15 pounds? Are you some kind of witch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's cute. And you'll be needing these. No, suit yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> you'll be needing these. You only get one chance. And a one, and a two, and a... Uh. Ow, my eye! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Wendy, are you okay? Does it look swollen? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the ice is coming back again. Robbie, thanks. That's really sweet. The gesture and the flavored syrup. Yeah, I was just here in the right place at the right time. Oh, Dipper. We've been spending a lot of time together, and I was wondering if maybe... You wanted to go out with me? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Sweet! Oh. <gasps> oh. I won my pet pig! His name is Waddle. I call him that because he waddles. Waddles! Everything is different now. What are you looking at? Oh. Tunnel of love and corn dogs. Oh, Dipper. Mabel, do you ever wish you could go back and undo just one mistake? Nope. I do everything right all the time. <laughs> She's so naive. Hey, you! Tool belt! You ruined my life! Huh? My position has been compromised! Assuming stealth mode! It's a TV screen. What? Come on. Arcade? So, who are you again? Blendin' Blendin'. Time anomaly removal crew, year 20. Blendin' Blandin'. The symbol is very interesting to me. It looks like an hour. There's an hourglass in the intro. <laughs> That's cool. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm sure they just reversed the animation. That's really funny. Wow. If and you could guess the... 15 pounds. <laughs> yes, I am a witch. <laughs> Time to round up a mob. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, it happened again. Does it look swollen? Yeah, it looks swollen. The exact same thing happened twice. It was spooky. It's almost like it's destiny. Ow, my eye. Hey, you all right? Why don't you just not throw it so hard? Like literally just pop. Okay. Ah. <laughs> this is funny. And every time he does this, Mabel has to get the pig. More than anything in the world. <laughs> I just bought for wind speed, factoring cotton candy. Oh my gosh, I have to analyze that. I'll be able to do that. <laughs> I forgot they rigged it. Damn. So I was wondering if uh, you uh... look what Dipper got for me. Whatever. Can't even tell what species it is. Stupid. <laughs> is Dipper like a a mathematician? He's mental. A physicist? Isn't he like twelve? <gasps> it's all yours. No one else. Is oh no. Oh, Mabel! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! Mabel, what? She took Waddle, Dipper! Oh, Mabel, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, look, I did the math. In any other timeline, Wendy ends up going out with Robbie. I can't mess this day up again. But if we okay, do, Doctor Strange. I see the dilemma here. I think a pig is more important, though. Oh my god. Do you hear that? Is it the Oh. 
I thought it was going to be the gnomes. Check it out. A magic button machine. Shoes that blink. <laughs> What? What is that? Oh, they're back here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. The Gobble Wonka. This, this one, yeah. I love this. Yes! This is the best present ever. Yes! No! Oh. Wendy to date Ronnie? I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually going to cry. <laughs> Come on, Mabel. I know you. You're going to forget about this in a day. Here. Hey, I'll prove it. Forget in a week. Oh no. Better in a month. Oh no. <laughs> my emotions. Oh my god. Okay. Wendy, I just wanted to say that. Well, I just wanted to say that people make mistakes. And a one, and a two, and a huh. Hey, Wendy, are you okay? You know, this is the perfect time for me to uh, ask you something. It is done. Super! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aww. It's the TVA. Our phones have been ringing off the hook. There's settlers high fiving in the 1800s and calculators littered through eight centuries. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey biceps! Yeah, I'm talking to you, haircut! Take your best shot! <laughs> it happened! The laser thing! Oh my god. I knew I said I predicted it. That's so funny. I love the foreshadowing in this show. You now must clean up all of the anomalies. Local kook, are the wax figures alive, man? <laughs> what are you looking at? Is that Schmebulok? <laughs> that was really cool. I love that. I love the freedom that this show has, actually, to be able to do stuff like that. We've set up our initial episodes, and the fact that we have, like, a time-travelling device... It, it, it's really cool that we're seeing those past episodes again in, in like a different way. We're, di we're seeing different perspectives almost. And I really love that. That's such a cool idea for an episode. There was some really complex um, mechanics or, um, you know, math like physics, physics and mathematics on that, uh, on the board that Dipper was writing on. And I really want to analyze that deeper in a different video, I think. Um, because I, I, I reckon I could probably do it outside of the video and then talk about it in another video because I don't want to just sit here doing maths for you. But um, I think it was really cool that that was there as well. I just really like this episode and I really like the pig. I wonder if the pig is going to stay. I'm assuming he probably is. Uh, but what was his name again? Waddles. It was Waddles. Um, so yeah. I also find it really interesting uh, how... The guy, what was his name? Like Brendan or something. I I forgot his actual name, but Brent, freaking Brendan or whatever his name is. He he had the time symbol, and it, it's literally like an hourglass, right? And in the intro on the screenshot that we've looked at so many times now, I'll put it on screen. We see an hourglass there, so maybe that's connected in some way. 
Actually, outside of these episodes, I haven't talked about this yet, obviously. Outside of these episodes, I've kind of concocted some sort of theory about something. And that is that this wheel in the center around Bill Cipher, I have a feeling each one of the symbols represents a different person. And I think that I, I, I know who most of them are. There's still a few I have absolutely no idea. But if we just go through them really quickly, I think that top right question mark is Seuss. Ice, I don't know. The next one is Grunkle. The next one is Dipper. The next one from that is Gideon. The next one from that is The Hand. And I think that that's probably going to be the author of the book, um, the, the journal that Dipper has and that Gideon also has. Uh, the llama, I'm not too sure, although we have seen Mabel wear a llama jumper, but the reason I don't think it's Mabel is because the next one is definitely Mabel. And then we have Robbie, and then we have glasses, which is probably Grunkle again. Uh, it, it seems weird because it seems like Grunkle has two, and so does... So does... Um, so does Mabel. But also, maybe Ice, after that episode, maybe Ice could uh, be Wendy. Because we saw Ice in episode number five, where they went to, uh, with Wendy's gang to the uh, supermarket, like the abandoned supermarket with the ghosts and stuff. They had Ice there, and we had Ice in this episode as well. And both of those episodes related to Wendy in some way. So maybe it's that. that that's just a theory. But Wendy sort of has to slide in somewhere here. I think... Here's my prediction for maybe the end of season one. I reckon, because we haven't seen Bill Cipher yet, and I, I'm waiting for the episode where we first see Bill Cipher. Uh, and people in the comments are going to say, it was episode one where we saw Bill Cipher. No. I think at the end of this series, it's possible that all of these characters in this wheel are going to come together and it's going to summon Bill Cipher. Now, I don't know how they would work that out, and I don't know what exactly that's going to do or why they would want to do that. But I have a feeling this is some sort of ritual that is going to summon this god. Um, so I think that's quite interesting to take note of. Um, I think I did say something similar in my first analysis video, but I haven't kind of shared my thoughts since then on what this wheel actually is and represents. Okay, so I have episode 9, The Time Travelling Pig, and then this is the code that we get at the end of the episode. So, I'm going to first put it in the Caesar cipher, just to test it out, because you never know when it could switch back to Caesar, possibly. And, of course, if you haven't seen my latest analysis-style uh, video, this is where I figure out that there's not actually going to be one cipher for the entire series. It seems like it's going to switch it up a little bit. So, recently we've been having at-bash ciphers, as opposed to Caesar ciphers for the rest of them. So... Let's try out Caesar. I don't think this is going to work, but it's going to be interesting either way. So we have MLG. <laughs> MLG! Uh, D V O O H and then Z K K I L E V W. So that doesn't do anything. Um, that's not, that doesn't work. Um, but what we can do is copy this and just put it in here. Not HG Wells approved. Um, I'm assuming HG Wells is a time travel author. Uh, I need to look up who HG Wells is. I should probably know this. So HG Wells is a writer, as I as I thought, uh, from back in the nineteenth twentieth uh, century. Uh, War of the Worlds, the Time Machine. There we go. So he wrote more than 50 novels and dozens of short stories. His non-fiction output includes works of social commentary, social commentary, politics, history, uh, popular science, satire, biology, uh, biography, and autobiography. Uh, what is he best known for? Novels such as The Time Machine and The War of the Worlds. Okay, so yeah, it's referring to H.G. Wells, who is a time machine or a time travel author. Uh, and so this episode isn't H.G. Wells approved because, um, well, I, I guess it's just the irony of, yeah, the, the irony of him being a time traveling author. Um, not time traveling author, time travel author. All right. So that one is now done. 
I'm so glad that um, that now we know the cipher, it seems to be easier again. Um, we seem to have easier clues. Because, uh, you know, before I, I, I did struggle with Carla, Why Won't You Call Me, and onwards, Aoshima. Uh, and of course, Mr. Cesarean will be out next week. Mr. Atbash will substitute. I struggled with these three, and it got me a bit demotivated with the series. But now I know what they mean. Um, and these are seeming, these seem to be getting a little bit easier again. Uh, that is until episode probably like 12 when it switches it up again, which I'm going to hate. But either way, I think we should move on now to episode number 10. And episode 10 is called Fight Fighters. What an interesting and really revealing title for this episode. This is it, the arcade! Place in Gravity Falls. Everything I know, Bill I Cipher! I've been chicken for seven days straight! Uh, Zeus? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! You win! <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Go, go. Winners don't lose! What? You cheated. Winners don't lose. I'm just trying to spend a little time with my girlfriend, alright? It'll just be one round. So, hey, I'm going camping tomorrow with my dad, so I won't be around. Oh, cool, cool. Watch out! <laughs> okay, so what I find really interesting already about this episode is we're seeing the arcade, and I and somehow I shouted it out last episode, but we saw a really quick glimpse of the arcade while they were time traveling last episode, so I'm really glad that I caught that, and that's quite interesting. Um, Wendy! Wendy! Come on out, girl! Come on down! You realize she's not here, right? Yes. What? She's out camping with her family today. Maybe if you listened to her for once, you'd know that. I know a fight when I see one. Stay right there! <laughs> <laughs> Me, Circle Park, 3 o'clock. We finish this. Ah, oh, he's gone. I was just gonna call the boys over to place a few bets. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. Why can't you learn to hate each other in secret? Like girls do. Sure, listen to your sister. <laughs> Maybe you can share dresses too. <laughs> you know, studies show that keeping a ladder inside the house is more dangerous than a loaded gun. That's why I own 10 guns. In case some <laughs> maniac tries to sneak in a ladder. <laughs> The game based on a movie based on a game. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's be like. A winner never runs away from a fight. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. You have more than one life. <sighs> mm. I wish one of these guys could fight Robbie for me. Ooh, a cheat code. Whoa! This animation is sick. I love how he's like flashing a little bit. Greetings, child boy. I am Rebel McSkirmish from the USA. Oh, <laughs> Happy Great Uncle's uh, Day. Uh, huh? Is it Great Uncle's Day? High heels. You shouldn't have. Seriously. Why? why? <laughs> <laughs> He's saying these heels are too high. Oh my gosh, Mabel. What? That's why you bought me these? You should be ashamed of yourself. And on Great Uncle's Day, no less. <laughs> and on Great Uncle's Day, no less. Now I must defeat the world's greatest fight fighters. Take me to the Soviet Union. <laughs> I think I hear my uncle. Stay perfectly still. <laughs> He's idle. It's idle animation. Hey, eye patch. what did the kid promise you? More tape for your forearms? <laughs> How can you laugh when you kill this boy's father? <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this, man, but you gave me no choice. Maybe now you won't mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's crazy. <laughs> Fireball. Oh my gosh. Bows and Crates Incorporated. Is this Donkey Kong? Oh my god, it's literally Donkey Kong. <laughs> 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 
Oh my gosh. I love it. Some, some very cool references. I love you, Dad. <laughs> oh, my car. <laughs> we'll just buy another one. I love being rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I was expecting. You're doing better than I thought. Now let go of the handrail. Nope. Hey, do you smell anger and hormones? <laughs> We're safe, right? Of course not. This thing is on still. Oh god, oh no. <laughs> the boy has led me astray from my teachings. If Robbie V is not the last stage, then it must be that was cool. Ready? Okay, this is cool though. This reminds me of Black Mirror. That one episode in Black Mirror. I mean, that was very different, but... Yeah! What is Dipper gonna do? Oh. Holy! What? <laughs> That was really cool, though. No, I have no looking up animation. Prefix. G G Y. Dip. Stan Pines is curious. It's gonna topple over. You coming, kid? Maybe not. Hey, what's the matter? You got a fear of heights now? <laughs> uh oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Why are your faces all jacked up? Is that the fighting each other? Were you? The the big man? <laughs> the big man. Isn't that the big punchy guy? The the manliness guy. We need to learn to just hate each other in silence. You mean like girls? Like girls? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good, one, Good Wendy. one, Wendy. That's yeah. great. Oh man, just a second. <laughs> they are simping over her. Oh, that's sick. It's a me, a Mabel. It's a me, a Mabel. Uh, uh, oh, that, that was really funny. That, that was a cool episode with lots of cool references and really cool animation. I, I just love the creativity of that episode. I think a lot of the other episodes can just kind of be like, they don't go very far with it. But like this one really had some good creative choices and I really liked all the references and stuff in there. I love especially at the end when, when Mabel went, it's a me, a Mabel. <laughs> so bad. Uh, a lot of the times the jokes are just so bad that they are, that it turns them, it makes them amazing. Um, all right, so we're back here in my Excel and we are going to have a look and see again if this is a Caesar cipher, pretty sure it isn't going to be, but it is worth trying nevertheless. So we got H L I I B. This one's looking quite long again, so I'm thinking maybe it's going to be something like Mr. Atbash is out next week. Uh, Mr. Frickin, I don't know, something else will be back next week. Uh, and some other decipherer. Uh, okay. Okay, once again, the, C the Caesar cipher didn't work. So, we're gonna copy this and put it in the at bash cipher. <gasps> Bam! Sorry, Dipper, but your Wendy is in another... But we don't know the end of that. Oh, we, we don't know the end of that. Oh, I didn't write it down. <laughs> Uh, I think it's going to be uh, Castle. So X, X, Z, H, G, O, V. X, Z, H, uh, X, Z, H, G, O, V. There we go. Castle. Yeah. Okay. So we got it. Sorry, Dipper, but your Wendy is in another castle, which of course is a, is a Mario reference. Um, your princess is in another castle. Cool. Nice one. 
All right, I can confidently say that that one is also solved. So it looks like we've solved all of the codes so far, which I am so happy with. It's, it's like we're not struggling with the codes anymore as much. Um, so I think we're going to go on to episode number 11, which actually I'm gonna put the title here because it's very interesting. It's called Little Dipper. Now, the thing about the name Little Dipper that I find interesting is uh, obviously we learnt in, uh, in, in the episode seven, Double Dipper, that uh, he has a birthmark up here on his forehead, uh, beneath his hair, beneath his cap. Uh, and it is the asterism, the Big Dipper. And so that's quite interesting because of the whole astrology thing that we've been talking about multiple times. Um, and what I was research, like when I researched that on that episode, on that video where we, we looked that up, um, I found out that there's actually another constellation called the Little Dipper. Uh, and I wonder if I can pull it up now. Here is, uh, so we have Ursa Major, which is uh, the Great Bear. And then we have the Ursa Minor, which is the Little Bear or the Lesser Bear. Um, what I find interesting is, is we're talking about bears here where there's a uh, there's the multi bear in Dipper versus Manliness as well. Um, so that's interesting that that Dipper kind of has this connection already to bears and the fact that Dipper is named after an asterism called the Big Dipper, which is Ursa Major, which is a bear. Um, why? Why? Why are they associated with bears? Um, Ursa Minor is known as the Wagon of Heaven. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to do some more research into this in our next analysis style video because I think a lot of this is, is very interesting stuff and it could actually be on the right page. It could tell us a lot about um, the future of the series, where we're going and, and the actual lore of the series. But uh, for now, I'm not going to look too far into it. Little Dipper, just keep that in your head that it is an actual constellation. It's, it's Ursa Minor. Um, so that's... That's interesting. All right, season one, episode 11, Little Dipper. Let's get started. Zombie attack? Gideon. They don't take orders. Blood rain? Ew, that's not my suit. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, Gideon's Little Dipper? Trent! There must be a perfect way to exact vengeance on the Pines family. Perfect. Okay. So we're following on from that. Tax collector, you found me! Tax collector? <laughs> I love how he smoke bombs. You are our big winner! My <laughs> one and only dream, which was to possess money, has Wait, come true. this is fake. This is fake. This is Gideon. Just sign here for the money. You bet! I knew it! No for the mystery shack to little old me! Just cha cha! Always read the fine print, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, take another look there. The shack is hereby signed over to suck a lemon, little man. Nice, nice. I'll get you all. Want to see what else is on TV? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this show just keeps getting funnier. I love how the, the photo with the gnome on it has a bite mark out of it. That's strange. I have never seen that before. It's weird that I... Little guy to Black Space Nine. Black Space Nine. Feeling the tiny horses. They like it better in here. Don't you, babies? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to analyze that chess game. I was awoken by the sound of mockery. Where is it? <laughs> Show me the object of ridicule. I'm taller than Dipper. By one millimeter. Hey, hey, don't get... Short with your sister. <laughs> Dude, maybe you should lay off a tiny bit. Ha! Tiny! So <laughs> uh. There's gotta be some way to get taller. Let's see. Wow. He takes things very personally Legends and... Legends of miniature buffalo and giant squirrels have led me to believe there are height-altering properties hidden deep within the forest. 
Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. Tiny deer. So let me guess, he's gonna he's gonna end up tiny. Oh cool. So he wants to go in the blue light. Oh no, he just wants the crystal. Oh smart. Oh wow. The pawn gets more pawn me. Mabel, look at the pawn. <laughs> the pawn in the background. For right now. Fine, open it. An invisible wizard. Really, Dipper. Ah. Huh? Uh, don't like that. <laughs> I just love how creative they're being with these episodes. Mama, what the apple oh no. Doing this? Maybe he didn't see us use it and doesn't know it's a magic flashlight that can grow and shrink things. Really? No. Okay. Love the shadow work on that. Oh, wow. So it was predicted early on that this would happen. Well, not predicted, but foreshadowed. How exactly did you come upon this magic item, hmm? Did somebody tell you about it? Did you read about it somewhere? Oh. Come on, talk about the books. Come on. I want to hear who the author is. Oh, wait, he has hair. I didn't think he had hair. This has got to be your worst plot yet. They're fine. I saw them playing in the yard minutes ago. I have them in my possession. You don't believe me? I will text you a photo. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with Gideon, man? Father, could you give little old me a wide to the mist we share? No, oh, I'd love to, sugar pie, but I have a heck of a lot of cars to sell. I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't tickle me! No! Never tickle me! What have I told you? What have I... Look at me. What have I told you? This kid. <laughs> Precious memories. Just keep back him in. Just keep back him in. Come on. She's scared of him. Wow. I love the 3D animation. It's so cool. Keeps calling me names and stuff. Oh, what? You mean like little? Don't say it. Little Dipper. <gasps> I dare say you would have defeated me. Bruh, you had one job. <sighs> God. I guess it's just you kept teasing me, Mabel, like all day. What was that all about? That is true. I guess it's that you're better at me at like everything. Oh. Always rub it in my face. Chest. Checkers, ping pong. I guess I finally felt like I was winning at something for once. <gasps> Stanford! Oh, hi, Gideon. <laughs> my new mirror maze. Then again, you're an idiot. <laughs> He's so smart. Uh, Grunkle is slowly becoming my favorite character. But nothing will beat Mabel. Neck is really squishy. Hey, look, I'm making fat angels. Tell my story. Tell my story. <laughs> Tell my story. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> now. Hey, watch the merchandise. 
That is not how mirrors work, by the way, but I'll go with it. You little troll! These mirrors cost me ten, I, I mean, uh, twenty, five, five hundred, five hundred dollars each, and you're paying for all of them. Yeah, no one to protect you now. Prepare for the wrath of Gideon Glee. Gideon Glee. <laughs> Oh, he's ticklish. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to respond to this. <laughs> hey, you let me keep my extra millimeter. You earned it. Aw, thanks, little brother. <laughs> we should destroy this thing, you know, so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands and junk. Seems like the smart thing to do. <laughs> die, die! There you dudes are. No! 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 <laughs> oh no! No! It's not just about revenge! I want that shack! The physical building! But why? Because it holds a secret you couldn't possibly imagine! <laughs> oh! So there is something more to the shack than we know. Okay, okay, okay. That was a good episode. That was very interesting. Obviously, um, Gideon has read the, the second book, so he knows stuff that we don't. And, and I've, I've always been wondering what's his motivation for all of this. Why, is his, um, why doesn't he like Stan? Uh, and why is, what, what's his obsession with the Mystery Shack? And then before he even said it, it kind of clicked in my head. He's read the second book. There's something more to Grunkle and the Shack than we all know already so it's going to be interesting to see what that is I, I can't even predict like what's going to be up with the shack i don't know obviously we got teased it in episode one all the way back right at the end of episode one we saw Grunkle going uh, to like the basement area behind um i think it was a vending machine but we don't know what's what's down there so that's going to be interesting to see uh it's gonna be interesting to see what the secret is it's it's got to be something to do with bill cypher right it has to be uh but either way let's see what the code was all right let's take this code that we have just got from the episode i never mean for that to rhyme by the way but it always does um okay so let's get rid of this and then try out the caesar cypher once again don't think it's gonna work but uh try it out anyway just for completion reasons you know okay once again it hasn't worked so at bash cypher we go and let's see what the code is the invisible wizard is watching another castle wait oh <laughs> i accidentally didn't delete the other clue but it's gonna be the invisible wizard is watching oh <gasps> That's interesting. Um, could it be the guy from the pig episode where, you know, where he had like the camera clo the invisible clothing? I wonder if it, um, if it's referring to him, but that's very interesting. The invisible wizard is watching. I wonder how serious that code is. Um, so yeah, I also wonder if the show is ever going to go back and kind of uh, go back to like the uh, concepts that we were introduced to at the beginning of the show and stuff like that. Things that were kind of left, not unsolved, but um, as like cliffhangers. For example, the Gobblewonka episode, the second episode, we learned that the Gobblewonka uh, was actually built by that madman. Um, and it's like a technological, it's like a animatronic basically. Um, but then we learned right at the end of the episode that there does actually exist a Gobblewonka, uh, a real monster in that lake. So I, I wonder if that's ever go we're ever going to go back to that, and they're ever going to discover the actual Gobblewonka. I don't, I don't really know what, like I don't know where they could go with that. So probably not. But it is in interesting, especially when the code for that episode was "Return to Butt Island." So I, I don't know, but um, that would be really cool to see. I really liked the time traveling episode for that reason because we were going back through the episodes and seeing it uh, from a new perspective. But I really liked this episode as well. Uh, I, my least favorite character in this entire series is Gideon, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a good thing because I think he he's meant to be hated, you know? So the fact that I really hate him means that his characterization is really, is really well done. So I really hate him. 
Uh, but that's why I love this show because it's really good with characterization and stuff like that. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Uh, I'm going to kind of take away the the maths from the first episode we watched today, I think it is. Um, and I'm going to see if I can make any sense of it. And then I'll come back to you on, with a video on that potentially. And then we're going to react to the next three episodes after that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. No spoilers in the comments, of course. And I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.